Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Arnell and today I want to take you guys with me into the heart of my nappy bag or diaper bag, whatever you want to call it. I want to share with you guys how I managed this with a kind of plastic free approach. So this is the bag that I chose as our nappy bag or diaper bag. I'm going to use the word nappy because that's what we use in the UK, but you, you'll know I mean diaper bag. Um, so this is the one I chose. It's made from organic cotton. What I do like about this bag is that it opens all the way out so I could lie it down on its back and just open it up that way. And it was really easy to find whatever I needed inside instead of it just being like a zip at the top where I'd have to like peer in and get, try and like rummage around at the bottom for stuff. This allowed me to see kind of everything and access everything really easily. It also has this little pouch at the front. I'm looking at this going, this bag needs a bit of a wash now. <laughs> it's got a few interesting stains on it and it has a pouch at the side which I used to put our water bottle in, our reusable water bottle. So that's the bag. Uh, do I love it aesthetically? I'm like kind of indifferent to it. Do I love it functionally? Yes, I think it works really well for the purpose that we needed it for. And I kind of thought, well, it's something that Arthur might actually use as he gets a bit older. Um, he could actually use it as like <laughs> a little backpack for himself. I'll link it in the info box below, but I mean, there are so many probably like lovely bags out there, ones to suit everyone's style and, um, and lifestyle. So that's the nappy bag I chose, but what the heck was in it? nappies um for those of you that don't know i have actually done a whole other video on this but i chose these cloth nappies by the brand baby greens they're made from organic cotton and hemp um hemp is a super absorbent material and i just love that it didn't have any synthetic microfibers in it a lot of cloth nappies whilst it's brilliant that they're reusable they still have a lot of like synthetic materials in them which it's just something I was personally keen to avoid. So um, I love this brand. Sadly, the only UK stockist of this brand, Baby Greens, no longer exists. Um, but I've managed to find some very similar looking ones, also made from organic cotton and hemp on Etsy. So I will link those in the info box below in case you are interested. So on a regular day out and about, I probably would have packed maybe two or three of these nappies if I was going out for just a few hours. But if I was going out for the whole day, I would have packed maybe five or six, just because you never know. I would also pack a couple of extra boosters. Again, these are by Baby Greens, and this is just a way of increasing the absorbency of the nappies that we use. So however many nappies I packed, I'd just pack the appropriate amount of boosters um, to match the number of nappies. So these are the wool outers or sometimes they're called wool soakers and these act as the water resistant outer layer instead of having a plastic outer layer i love these <laughs> they're so soft and they just look really cute and they work brilliantly um, i do need to lanolize them every so often i'd say maybe once every two months it depends on how many you have and how often you, you use them we still use these at night even though arthur is completely dry most of the time he has pants on but these will still be over the top of his pants to act as a, a kind of water resistant barrier. So I love that these have got a use beyond the whole like nappy years. So normally a few of those would be in the bag. Oh, wipey then, <laughs> let's do all the wipes. So using wipes out and about, again, I'd probably pack quite a few. I'd say maybe 10 to 15 wipes um, if we were going out for the whole day. Um, firstly, they're just useful for general spillages, but uh, especially when it comes to using them during a nappy change, uh, some people, a little concern like what do you do what do you use with them honestly i just used water from the tap so we normally changed in a kind of like changing bay or changing room baby changing room uh, so i just run these under some warm water and then use it as a wipe and then put it in the wet bag which i'll show you in a minute but i have seen some people sort of prepare a solution like a homemade solution and put that in like a little waterproof zip bag or something and use those for out and about if they're not sure if they're going to have access to a tap um, but I was pretty certain that I would almost always have access to a tap because I was in London like wherever we went there was pretty much a baby changing facility and if I wasn't I mean I always have like a reusable bottle of water on me so uh, worst case I would just wet them using that and then 
wipe away. <laughs> I guess another option would be to have like a little spray bottle that you could just spray the wipe with um, just to dampen it slightly and then use it. Um, again, it's such a personal choice, but I was quite like relaxed and go with the flow with the whole thing. But yeah, out and about wipes, they feel like they might be a bit weird and complicated and everyone's so used to disposables, but actually super simple and they worked brilliantly for us just with water. Wet bags. So um, I really struggled to find a plastic free option when it came to wet bags. So for those of you that don't know, these are the bags that you would put any kind of soiled or wet nappies in as well as any used wipes in. And they basically keep everything contained in that and you just empty it out when you get home into the into the laundry. Um, so the option that I did find was a wool this, I mean, looks quite small actually now, but it did fit in about four or five used <laughs> nappies in it. Um, but this is a wool wet bag and I don't think this is made anymore. I really struggled to find it online recently. Um, it's by a brand called Organic Caboose. If I can find it, I will link it in the info box below, but it's basically a Velcro bag that you would just put any of the soiled or uh, wet nappies and wipes in. It also has these little hoops on it which meant I could just easily hang it on the changing room door um, which made it easier just to throw the nappies in with one hand. So I actually bought two of these so that I could either rotate them or if we were going on a longer journey or if I was staying over at a friend's house back when that was normal. Um, I would take two with us just to make sure I had enough space to contain all of the used nappies. I mean, in all honesty, like now that I've seen it, I feel like this is something somebody with pretty basic sewing skills could actually make <laughs> themselves. Um, if you've got some felted wool and you could just lanolize it, I guess, to give it a bit more um, water repellency. But yeah, I mean, it's basically just a very simple wool bag. Um, but recently I did find this um, bag which looks pretty snazzy, doesn't it? <laughs> um, and it's by a brand called Organic Stories. Uh, again, I'll link them in the info box below. Um, and this is, I mean, it's quite a decent sized bag. It's actually made from organic cotton and it has a natural kind of waxy coating um, that basically makes it, they call it a dry bag. And I don't know if there's a huge difference between a dry bag and a wet bag. So I haven't used this for nappies uh, whilst we've been out and about because we don't really use them anymore, but we have had some wet items. So things like some of the wet cloth wipes, for example, I will just throw them in this bag. Or I think my husband had some like wet swimming shorts the other day from where he'd been swimming in the, in the sea. So we just put them in here to keep everything that was wet contained in just this bag and um, separate from the dry items. So that is actually another plastic free option. I mean, obviously these little clips are plastic, but that's it. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> and just cause you never know if you need to quickly uh, clean your hands and you might not have access to a sink or soap. Um, sometimes I would just carry a bar of soap around with me, but basically this was the easier option. Uh, it's a brand called Beauty Kitchen and they do refillable hand sanitizer. Um, so this is the refill that you can buy and you can also send this back to them to be refilled. They've actually got a brilliant return, refill and repeat system. And I think they're pretty available in a lot of different places, but I'll link their website below. It's a minty fresh kind of smell and it dries really easily. So it's actually a really nice hand sanitizer to use whenever I did need to use it. Um, and it's quite a nice, neat little bottle. It just doesn't take up much room in the nappy bag. Another thing I struggled to find plastic free was like a changing pad slash bag. Basically little bags that you can throw one or two nappies in and just take to the changing room with you um, instead of hoiking a whole nappy bag in. Um, but I did manage to find this brand called Milo and Benny. They're super lovely, small brand, and they make these uh, nappy changing bag pad things. <laughs> it's made uh, from completely natural materials. They do have some organic cotton options, but I think it's mostly linen and cotton. And it folds out into this changing mat that also has a little zip compartment in it at the top here, where you can put uh, like one or two nappies and a few wipes. Um, I found that because we're using cloth nappies and they are a bit bulkier, I could uh, a push fit in about two nappies and maybe one wool cover uh, and a 
maybe five wipes or so and then sometimes I just fold the rest into the bag so when I wrapped it up it was all contained. So it has these removable um, pads on the inside, again these are made completely from cotton um, and they've got really cute little wooden buttons on them. So you can just take those out really easily, especially if they've been soiled. I just love that it uses natural materials. Honestly, it's the only one I could find. Even ones that are sold as being like organic cotton ones, usually have a kind of synthetic polyester type filling or padding inside, which I was thought was a bit disappointing. Um, and sometimes they have really unusual coatings on them as well, like a coatings I wouldn't want my child lying on. So. I just really like that this one's completely natural and Milo and Benny are a super cute, super lovely brand. I'd say definitely check them out. I guess I should try and show you exactly how much I could fit in that pouch. Let's do this. One nappy, two nappies, some wipes and a wool cover. I've managed to squeeze all of that in there. It looks a little bulky, but I have actually managed to squeeze all of that in there. Um, I did contact the owner of Milo and Benny recently saying, hey, I absolutely love your changing pad bag things, but would you consider making one with a roomier zip compartment so that people who use cloth nappies, which are obviously naturally a bit bulkier, there's a fly, could actually fit them in a bit more easily. This works, it's fine, it was no problem for us, but it would just be nice to have a little extra room in case you wanted more than two nappies in there. Let me roll it up and show you what it looks like rolled up. There you go, that's it rolled up. So I could just easily take that out on small short journeys or maybe if we were out for a little while, I'd take this and then one of the wet bags uh, in my handbag. So that's the plastic free nappy changing pad that we used for out and about. One thing I was always never without, uh, even now I still take them pretty much <laughs> everywhere we go because you just never know how useful they might be, um, are muslins. And this is a pretty big one actually. It's made from organic cotton. I just really like the star print on it. And it's by uh, Wee Gallery who makes some really lovely baby items. Uh, but the size of this just meant that we could use it for lots of different things. But yeah, I always had one of these thrown in the nappy bag as well. Let's talk lotions and potions. That's right, people. I'm going to tell you which nappy balm we used. Uh, so this is by Fat and the Moon. I love them as a brand in general. I'm wearing their lip tint at the moment. I love it so much. I'll link it in the info box as well, as well as everything else in this video. Um, but yeah, I've been using a lot of their products for a long time. And the eyeliner is by them as well. Um, but this is their Baby's Moon Salve. It's made from completely natural ingredients, some of which are organic. It comes in a little metal tin, and it was just really nice to have that on hand in the nappy bag in case I ever did need to use it on Arthur. And um, the final thing I would put in our nappy bag would be several changes of clothing, uh, just because, you, again, you never know when you're out and about if there's going to be any kind of leakage or spillage, or for whatever reason you need to change your child's clothes. It was nice to have several options on us because uh, sometimes it happens more than once. I will say though like with our nappies I don't know if it's common to cloth nappies but I have read anecdotally that it might be um, that they tend to have fewer blowouts like and fewer leakages. Again I think it depends on like the shape and size of your child and how the nappies fit but um, generally I found that we didn't really have many if any, oh no, one or two like explosions. But yeah, always had several potential outfit changes in the nappy bag, usually just thrown into like one of our reusable cloth, like drawstring bags <laughs> that I use for grocery shopping. Again, it's one of those things that you just never know. Sometimes you don't need to change the clothing the whole day and other times it's like, how, how are we now on our fourth outfit? There you go guys, that was a little delve into the deepest, darkest depths of the nappy changing bag. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.